my younger years, I was always very skinny. They all thought I didn't even eat enough or get enough to eat what I did. My junior year, we found a tumor on my ovary that I had to have removed, benign, completely don't even know what it was. It was just like a water mass. Um, and that I stopped all sports at that point. So I was just, boom, from there, it just started gaining and gaining and gaining. And I kept on thinking I could do it myself. I don't need to do that. I can do it myself. And I could lose 20 to 22 pounds, and then I would gain 30 to 35 pounds and kind of do it again. I was an independent consultant for Mary Kay. And each uh, month, we would get a reward for the person with the top sales. Um, I happened to be um, that person that month, and um, my um, mentor took a picture of me with my little, I had a little cup, and I was, you know, proud of it. And she posted it on Facebook. And I got on Facebook, and I was mortified, absolutely mortified. I said, this is not me. This is me. I know this is me, but this cannot be what I look like. Um, I thought I left the house looking amazing that day. And I immediately texted her and be like, hey, you have just done me a favor. I said, this picture has just put it right in my face that I have a problem. I need to do something about this. And it was seeing that picture that made me look into bariatric surgery. I had friends who had bariatric surgery who um, and family who weren't successful, um, and that scared me. Why go through this if I can just lose it on my own? Um, finally, I would say after three solid years of trying, joining Beachbody, getting a coach, doing Weight Watchers, um, all the fad diets, keto, Adkins, all of that, um, I just said, you know, I, I think this is going to be my safest journey to be healthy. It wasn't just to lose weight, I wanted to be healthy. I didn't want to wear a CPAP machine. I didn't want to take blood pressure medications. I didn't want to be pre-diabetic anymore. Um, I didn't want to be on pain medication for the arthritis in my lower back and hips. And that was my main goal, my main focus. And as of November 1st, 2021, I am completely medication free. Um, I don't take tramadol anymore, and I took it for 20 years. I weaned myself off that by myself. I was done. So those were the things that we celebrate aside from the weight loss. Um, people say, you look good, you do this, and I always say, but I feel better. I, I might look good, but I feel better than what I look because I can do things now. It's not an easy way out. People will say it's an easy way out. There is no easy thing about this. Um, I say right now, all the stuff that we do to get to this point where we're at our goal weights, now we're learning how to keep that and maintain that. This is what we've trained for. All that two years was training, and now my training I'm putting into you know, effect. I'm keeping the weight off, and I don't want to gain. And I would tell anybody that I would do it again. Well, I wouldn't do it again, because I'm not going to gain the weight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>